Hi, I'm Dory, and this is the second uh, if video and part of a series that I am doing. If you are interested in really kind of getting more of the details about what this series is all about, I will have part one linked in the description box down below so you can take a look. But long, long, long story short, <laughs> uh, this is a series of four commissioned drawings that were purchased by a very nice lady uh, as a gift for a friend. And uh, she was wanting to give this gift to a, a friend who has four cats that she wanted portraits done of. Um, each one of her cats has a very special kind of uh, fandom inspired name. The first cat that I drew in part one was Ares, the god of war. And I drew him in battle armor with a sword and um, the second one that you see me drawing here today for part two is Spock. Uh, this kitty's name is Spock and she named him Spock because he has the little white marking on his forehead uh, that looks like the communicator. It looks like the whoosh. So, um, yeah, she she thought he was super, super cute and Star Trek-y and fun and therefore we are doing his portrait in the style of Star trek -y and fun. <laughs> he is in a Star Trek environment with space and stuff behind him and he is in a Star Trek uniform dressed like Spock the Vulcan. And I love this one. Of the four uh, drawings that I did in this series, I think this one is my favorite. Um, I absolutely love the color palette. I love um, that I was able to do some even more Star Trek art because if you guys have been watching me for a while, you have definitely seen a lot, <laughs> a lot of Star Trek fan art. I love Star Trek. And you guys will also know that Spock is one of my favorite characters ever in sci science fiction of all time. I think he is incredible. I love everything that Spock stands for. So I was extremely happy to do a Spock inspired drawing. Um, and like, you, like I said earlier, um, Spock the kitty, the one that I'm doing the portrait of, he uh, had that little white marking on his forehead and you'll see that in the drawing here. I did try to very, very closely replicate the actual markings on the cat because this is a portrait. These, I wanted the lady when she received these, paint, these drawings to uh, be able to look in there and see her actual animals. Um, because that, you know, <laughs> if, if she can't recognize her babies in these pictures, then what's the point? So I paid very, very close attention. I wanted to get every little marking perfect, and I feel like I did an excellent job. Um, this definitely looks like Spock the actual Spock the kitty. Um, I did turn his little ears a little more pointy than they would have been because, I mean, he is a Vulcan after all. Um, but I think he's super cute. I really, really love the way he turned out. <laughs> um, so uh, you can see I am putting that little Star Trek uniform on him, putting him in a spacey environment. And um, if you want kind of more details about what this series is about, um, you can look at the part one of this that is in um, the description box down below. You can take a look at that. But yeah, I just, I kind of wanted to take some time this in this video and talk about Star Trek <laughs> because I friggin' love Star Trek. Um, I, um, you know, being born in the late 70s, I grew up watching Star Trek. The very first Star Trek movie of all time was released the year I was born. Um, and I have watched every single Star Trek film ever made in the theater with my mom. It's a huge special deal. I love Star Trek. <laughs> Star Trek is, is absolutely awesome and it's uh, something I have in common with my husband as well he's a Star Trek fan also so uh, I really am very grateful <laughs> to have it as uh, so, uh, something that something to enjoy joy because um, I grew up on original series Star Trek and the movies um, and I got really really into the next generation in the 90s um, I've o I'm also a fan of Voyager um, I've seen just so much Star Trek, so much Star and I love Star Trek, and I'm very unhappy that I cannot watch the new series that they have out, because it's, um, you actually have to pay to watch it, and I am broke, so I am missing out on the new Star Trek series, The Discovery, and I've heard so many good things about it, it makes me sad, <laughs> I want to watch it, um, but 
you know, it is what it is. Someday, someday I will see the new Star Trek and I will feel happy again. (laughs) But, I mean, one of my favorite uh, characters is Spock, like I said. Um, Even though I, I do get into all of the other Star Trek um, franchises, I, I definitely love Spock so much. Um, I love everything that he stands for, um, the, you know, the conflicts that he faces, and I don't know, I don't know, I just absolutely adore him, so I'm really happy that this lady had a kitty named Spock. He has, the kitty, kitty Spock has passed away, unfortunately, so this is, um, also a memorial portrait Uh, so I did did really absolutely want to make sure that this one was very special and very beautiful and one thing that I did try to make sure of was I wanted to uh, have the color palettes kind of complement each other because this is a series of four drawings I wanted the them to be able to you know be hung on a wall together and have them look nice together. So I did try to incorporate colors in this that are in other ones. So even though there is this one's got a lot of space, it's a lot of darkness. Um, there is a lot of purple in it, you know, which is going to complement one of the ones you're going to see next week. <laughs> there is a lot of orange and yellow, which complements the. Um, uh, Ares God of War which I did um, before um, in part one and I just tried to make sure that the colors all kind of went together and all made sense and these all you know had kind of a, a relationship with each other as far, even though they were separate drawings and um, I did but and even though I was doing that I wanted this one to stand out. I wanted this one specifically to be extra beautiful. I wanted this one to be um, very uh, ethereal, very, um, you know, give you a sense of, of, of that science fiction, of that specialness, because it is a memorial f- um, image. I wanted absolutely to, for it to feel special and magical. And um, I, I feel like I did a good job with that. I feel like I managed to do that. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm extremely proud of how this one turned out. I'm really, really happy with the uh, way that the lighting is and everything. One thing that you are not going to see in this drawing, um, I did it right at the very, very end um, after I'd taken a photo of it and everything. I went in and I added a quote at the very bottom. and. The lady that purchased this, she wanted to kind of acknowledge that Spock the Kitty had passed away, but she wanted to do it in a Star Trek-y way with a Star Trek quote that was kind of inspirational or had meaning. But the lady that was purchasing this, she wasn't necessarily a super Star Trek fan <laughs> like her friend was. Like I said, the lady bought this for her friend. Um, and she asked me if I knew of any quotes or if I could research, and um, yeah, duh, of course I knew of some Star Trek quotes because, hello. <laughs> and of course the one that popped into my head right away was, um, uh, and I just, I won't spoil it, there's no spoilers if you uh, are not familiar with the movies, um, I'll just say that the quote that I chose to put at the very bottom was, I have been and always shall be your friend. And that's the quote. (laughs) And if you are familiar with the Star Trek films, you know why that is a very special quote. And if not, then watch the Star Trek movies. What's wrong with you? I mean, come on. Anyway, (laughs) I I really love this. I hope that you love this too. Um, Yeah, if you did, please tell me in the comments down below and tell me who your favorite Star Trek character is. And if you have any Star Trek named pets because i want to know if there are any like um kirk's like kirk the dog or (laughs) um you know something like neelix the cat i want to know about it please let me know i would be so excited um (laughs) yeah just tell me in the comments and if you like this video give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more cool content like this thank you so much for watching i will talk to you later Bye.